Princess Diana left Prince Charles with look of horror over Rolling Stone's dinner trip. The late Princess of Wales and Prince Charles had very different ideas when it came to parenting, according to a new Channel 5 documentary exploring the relationship between the future king and his son Harry. Charles and Harry, father and son divided details house Diana wish for the young princes to live as normally as possible clashed with her husband's more traditional upbringing. The Princess of Wales's former bodyguard told show producers, Diana would take them to what became her favorite which was Bill Wyman and the Rolling Stones Stucky Fingers in Kensington Church Street. The prince had a slight problem with it. I remember once when they came back there was this look of horror across the prince's face. Because he couldn't actually work out why with a brigade of good chefs at Kensington Palace Diana would have to take them for a burger. He continued, there was this sort of natural gravitation toward Diana simply because Diana was the provider of the fun things that boys of that age actually wanted. Charles, interestingly enough, acknowledges that William and Harry were happy and engaged when in the company of their mother in those early days. The documentary Iris on Channel 4 in the wake of Prince Harry's extraordinary revelations about life in the royal family. The Duke of Sussex told podcast armchair expert being a royal was a mix of The Truman Show and being in a zoo. The Truman Show is a film released in 1997 in which the main character realizes his whole life is one giant reality TV program. Pressed whether he was consciously trying to protect son Archie from the same fate, the Duke said, yeah, isn't life about breaking the cycle? There's no blame. But certainly when it comes to parenting, if I have experienced some kind of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure I break that cycle so I don't pass it on. As parents we should be doing the most we can to say, you know what, that happened to me. I'm going to make sure it won't happen to you. Royal commentator Robert Jobson took to Twitter to criticize Harry for the comments made in the podcast. Mr. Jobson wrote, So Prince has has not only thrown his dad under the bus, but the Queen and late Grandpa too for their parenting style. Forgive me, but he's been a dad for how long? Perhaps he should pen a book on how to parent properly drawing on his wealth of experience? For charity of course.